Jeff Simon Cho is joining us to make the case for himself, admit what he did, tell us the story. Simon, what is it like sitting here, hearing the story about yourself, hearing the allegations? You've admitted them, but what does it mean to you? Well, you know, I certainly didn't expect to be on CNN for something like this. You know, picturing back, you know, four years ago when I was at the last games, you know, if somebody told me, hey, you're going to be on CNN, I didn't quite picture it to be like this. So, you know. You worked hard. You're an Olympic athlete. You're a medalist. Why did you do this? So this event took place in 2011. It started with my coach, uh, Jay Su Chun, and uh, he was my coach and a fellow Korean. Uh, it started when he severed uh, ties with the Canadian team when he used to work for them. He, uh, he came over to the U.S. to coach our team. Um, and there was a particular event where we were eliminated uh, by the Canadian team. Um, at that point, he took it a little too, uh, to heart and took it uh, really personally. And that's when he took to um, encouraging his team to be obnoxious and rude. Um, and, I, you know, as uh, for the ISU report, you know, it says, uh, he encouraged skaters to be obnoxious, sit on their massage tables, um, spill soup on the Canadian skaters, um, and he went as far as to um, order me to tamper with a uh, rival skates. What does that mean, ordered you to tamper? You're in, you know, you're in the United States, you're a free man, you're a mm -hmm. man, you control your own actions. What do you mm -hmm. mean, he forced mm -hmm. you? Well, you know, um, in, in the sport of, you know, in Olympic sports, uh, we, you know, I, I wouldn't want to say we play by a different set of rules, but you know, in our line of work, um, there's so many factors that come into play where it's a make or break situation. And when you have an authoritative figure uh, like a coach that has ultimate control over, you know, making or breaking your dreams, uh, sometimes it steers you to do some things that you don't necessarily believe in. Um, but, you know, I, I was um, approached by my coach, um, told him no after he ordered me to do this. And ultimately, he, he gave me a vendetta. He's like, you're going to be a man about this. Do you want to leader, be, be a leader for this team or what? Like, you need to pay your dues. And, you now know. If I were to ask you about this situation in a teaching environment, mm -hmm. what would you tell the athlete to do when a coach comes to them and says, do this, cheat, mm -hmm. because I'm telling you yeah. to? What would you, know, you tell someone to do? Obviously, I would discourage that, but you know, cheating is a strong word, especially in this case, because cheating would suggest that I gained some kind of competitive advantage over my competitors at that particular comp competition. But you know, that wasn't the case. It was uh, strictly one man's vendetta against a group of skaters. If you bend the skate of somebody, I don't understand anything about skating, but if you bend the skate, obviously you're putting them at a disadvantage. That's why you did it, right? Right. So how did you not gain an advantage if you did something well, to disadvantage point, the other person? Well, at that point, our U.S. team had already been eliminated. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, Jay Su, he had just taken things a little bit personally. Um, and he w went and instructed our own U.S. team to do obnoxious things, ridiculous things. So you are rationalizing this by saying it didn't help me because I was already out, but you did hurt the Canadian skater. I did. You know, it, it definitely uh, wasn't sportsmanlike of me. And, you know, I do regret my actions. And this is something I have to live with for the rest of my life. But, mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm not the same naive 19-year-old uh, when I went ahead and did the tampering. Uh, so, you know, I'm here today. Hopefully, you know, any fan or young boy looking up to me can, you know, learn uh, from uh, this experience. And if they are able to do that, then, you know, I've made the best of this situation, even though, you know, uh, I do regret my actions. Well, that's what I'm giving you the, the opportunity to do. That's why I'm pressing you. Mm -hmm. I want your message to be clear. Mm -hmm. Either you're going to own this or you're not, mm -hmm. right? If you're going to own it, then you did the wrong thing. It's not about your coach. Yeah. It's not about not being in contention. It's about what you did and mm -hmm. that it was wrong. Is that your message? That is my message. And, you know, um, at some point, I do have to take responsibility for my actions. You know, I am at fault here. Uh, do I consider myself a tool for one man's, uh, you know, ab abusive, you know, co coaching behavior? Uh, yes, but, you know, I was 19. Uh, that doesn't deter from the fact that I need to own up to my actions, and I hope that's something that everybody can take away from this experience. The coach puts out a statement. He says he denies any wrongdoing. He says the Canadians were just as unsportsmanlike. By the way, would that make it okay, even that if true? That would not make it okay. okay. You know, uh, Jay Su's uh, denied a lot of allegations among physical, verbal, emotional abuse. Um, so it is what it is, you know, it, it's really up for the fans of, you know, sports to decide for themselves. So you say to me you're going to spend these two years when you're banned going to school, working on yourself, and I hope telling kids about your story and teaching them about sportsmanship? Absolutely. I definitely uh, want to advocate, you know, you know, sports ethics and behavior. 
you know, sometimes when you're lost and, you know, you're chasing a dream, you want to be the next Michael Jordan, the next Michael Phelps of your sport. Sometimes you get tunnel vision and you lose sight of things. And, you know, hopefully, you know, young athletes in this generation are able to take away from my experience. Well, we're hearing about athletes making mistakes all the time. It's good to have one at least coming forward, owning it, sending the right message out to people. I wish you good luck going forward. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, it's for good reason. Yeah.